may make a few millions off nonsense. I don't mean to offend you, my bad was going crazy. I'm pissed off, I make me look easy. I don't need no Pepto Bismol. Famous is the team, famous is the rapper. Stop, stop. Now I don't play no games, so you don't ask, I do not pick up. Get to the point right after you touch down. Kick up, show me the paper, about to ink that deal. Printer, say it ain't so, oh no, you think I'm lying? Timber. So don't act like you surprised. Today is a new day. A day we've been waiting for our whole lives. This is the beginning of something special. Of something people said was never possible. We've put in the work to get to this moment. To have this opportunity to come together as a team. Everyone knows KC is on the rise. But what they don't know is we're just getting started. Okay. Community America, powering the rise of Kansas City. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in. We want to thank everybody for watching. We got a, a special guest tonight, uh, Jay Todd. Um, his show is on IG Live. It's called TED Talk. And we're going to be talking NBA with Johnny. Um, well, Bo Todd, 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 Yeah, Todd Talk. Yeah, Todd Talk. <laughs> I want you to get food now. <laughs> yeah, Todd Talk. But uh, we, we want to thank everybody for watching. With that said, we'll be right back. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in. Welcome in. We want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, today, like I said earlier, we got a, a special guest on the show today, um, J. Todd. Uh, it's Todd Talk on IG. Forgive me if I said it wrong. But we're going to bring him in later. But we're going to uh, start off with Johnny and Dre. How y'all guys doing today? It's popping. How you doing, Dre? Doing phenomenal. <laughs> uh, what you got? What you got? What's going on in the uh, the NBA world, uh, Johnny? 
Man, we're going to start off with um, the Charlotte Hornets versus the Brooklyn Nets. LaMarcus Aldridge made his debut as a Brooklyn Net. And, uh, man, if, it's going to be a problem. You know, they, they really never had an inside force that could score at all. You know, DeAndre Jordan is a, a scoring guard. He just catch a lot of alley-oops. Blake Griffin, we know he's older up there in age, so he's not playing down low at all. He's out on the wing. Um, he's shooting a lot better, three-point percentage as well. But, yeah, L.A. came in. And uh, was productive. She had 29, played 29 minutes, had 11 points, nine rebounds, six assists. Uh, I told Dre that Kyrie would run the pick and roll with him, which he did, which just that's all he really needed to do is Kyrie came up the court, L.A. set the pick and roll. Kyrie went around the screen. He could pop it to the corner, pop it back to L.A., and it was easy money. Or you actually was even giving it to him on the block and clearing out, and then he was just going to work. So Right, man. Uh, Man, you listen, yeah. listen, listen. Okay, okay, listen. L.A. L.A.'s dope. L.A. brought a new element to the Brooklyn Nets, so it's gonna be a problem. Brooklyn's gonna Brooklyn's gonna be a problem, bro. They hey, listen, they're gonna be an issue. But again, again, might I add, James Harden did not play last night, nor Kevin Durant. Oh shoot, what was the score then? Something right. <laughs> one, one, one eleven eighty nine. <laughs> Oh, I know what happened. Charlotte must have had a Charlotte must have had a bad week. No, no, Charlotte no, no. Must have no, a bad no. week. A bad week of practice. No, you had Tyler Johnson step up with 15. Bruce Brown Jr. came through with 14. And Landry Shaman had 17. So that's what happened. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. I ain't gonna lie to you. Hey. <laughs> so basically what you're saying, Johnny, the boys stepped up. Basically. Like we like we've been like we've been saying all season. We've been saying Brooklyn gonna be a problem. You still want to get Brooklyn uh, head and talk about Kyrie. I don't this, like Kyrie. Kyrie I don't this, like Kyrie. Kyrie that. Which I tell you, man, Brooklyn, hey, Brooklyn's going to make some, Brooklyn's making noise right now. They're going to run through everybody. Yeah. No, nah, no, they're not. No, they're not. No, they're not. <laughs> they're not. I will not. I would not do that. I want to allow you to say that, Max. Max, listen. All right, listen. If you look at the game right now in basketball right now, in the regular season, everybody look good. I don't, I don't even think the Charlotte Bob, Bobcats, sorry, the, the Hornets, I don't think they was even playing for real anyway. They wasn't playing for real. They wasn't playing for real. Right. They were just playing up like, up, like LA, get his thing off. They not playing for real. What do you mean? They wasn't playing for real. They didn't, they didn't, they wasn't playing with heart yet. Yeah, what See, do you mean, you playing with heart, It changes in the playoffs. Uh, well, what do you currently, mean? They're currently the fourth seed in I'm the I'm talking about heart, bro. Right. right. Listen, man, listen. Say that again, Johnny, so he can hear it. So he can hear it clearly. They're currently the fourth seed in the, in, the, in the Eastern Conference. Now, you can say they, they're a little down because Lamelo is out for this season. But that was like a couple weeks ago. So, that ain't got nothing to do with the game. See, Johnny, right there, Johnny, right there. You just said it right there, a whole lot right there. I don't respect Brooklyn because they beat a middle list team. I can't respect them, bro. You beat the superstar wasn't there. You do know but they won, though. a rookie, but right? They won, <laughs> I get that. They won. It's cool. And they should have won. Mm-hmm. They should have won. <laughs> but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, Kyrie Irving still got to – he got to prove to me that he could be better than LeBron or he could be with the elite. By itself, he tried with Boston. It didn't work with Boston. I think this situation is different though, because with Boston, you know, Kyrie had to do a little more, and you could even say with Cleveland, it was, he had to do more because it was him and Brian. But bro, with this roster with with Harden, KD, and now at Lamarcus Aldridge, I mean, realistically, Kyrie could give you fifteen points and six or seven assists a game, right. and they still win. You know, you don't need you know Kyrie to put up 50, 60. You don't. He don't have to do none of that. Oh. Um, James Harden don't have to go for sixty at all. KD don't have to go for it. So I don't know, bro. Like I don't, I don't see where you can't have a game where Kyrie go off for forty, and then you have a next game we go off for twelve, and they still win both games. You know what I mean? You no, know why? Because I feel like um, he knows his role now. Kyrie knows his role. He knows he's supposed to take minimal of a shot, and he passes the ball a whole lot more. A whole lot more. Just bro, you don't have to do everything, bro. When he was with Boston, he did everything. Maybe he just respect his teammates more. <laughs> I bet he do. I bet he do. I bet he do. You know what? I think I think Kyrie, he can be. Hey man, I'm giving I'm giving this man too much credit. Well, what's too much credit, Drake? What, what's what's too much credit? Hey, what, what is too uh, much credit? Hey, listen, I apologize. It's too much credit because <laughs> he's not LeBron James, man. He's right. not LeBron. LeBron gets it. 
LeBron James, man, all right, I'm about to break it down. LeBron James elevates his team. Any team he goes to, any team he goes to, he, he elevates them, right? Kyrie doesn't elevate. Kyrie more like, it's like he just there. He just there in his own world. It's like he doesn't re, he doesn't interact with his teammates. It, he it just, just there. It, it, it's just, uh, you, uh, Johnny, as you can see, Dre is just, a, you know, a Chiefs hater. Kyrie, oh he, he'll find see, his, he'll find his way to right, take man. his shots. He'll find his way to take his shots at Kyrie. You know, he'll find his way to take his shots at the Chiefs. He'll find his way to do anything. But he, he don't want to get a man a prop. They, hey, they build my state. They bro, he's a scoring. Then I'm hearing, the then, I, then I hear Vince Carter coming out of retirement trying to join him. I don't know if there's a rumor or what. But that, that, oh, man. <laughs> I don't know. Where we... man, serious, man. Hey, Johnny, if this quarter comes out, play for them, bro. I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I'm like, why? Why are they going? Why are they going to Brooklyn? Why is everybody going to Brooklyn? Why? Why not? Why not? It doesn't make sense to me. See, LeBron didn't need that taking the clip the uh, Cavaliers to the finals. He had a bunch of he had uh, uh, George Hill. What he had? Yeah, George Hill. Who else he had? Man, he had some. Man, they they lost that year. They had George Shiller. Yeah, right. they did, but he had them superstars though. He took. <laughs> man, they beat the Kyrie. No, no, he didn't. My bad. Yeah, my Bucks get it right. Get it right. Sorry. My, yeah, I know. I did. My Bucks beat them. You know what I'm saying? Beat them. You know what I'm saying? I get that. That's that my fault. No, my fault. My fault. My fault. Before before we uh before we uh go into the next take. My fault. Before we go into the next take, I'm going to go ahead and bring in the special guest, uh, Jay Todd, where you can get get in some um, time in on some of this NBA talk, what's going on. So with, with that said, let's go ahead and bring in Jay Todd. How you doing today, sir? Hey, what's going on, man? What's going on? Thank y'all so much for having me, man. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. <laughs> All right, let's go Jay, break you in, Jay. Let's so go ahead. Break no, you hold on. Let, let him, Jay. Jake, introduce us. I mean, introduce yourself. What you got going on with yourself? Oh man! All right. Sheesh. Okay. Uh, my name is Jay Todd. Uh, graduated with my master's from UCM. Did a lot of student activism. Still do a lot of public and social and student activism. Um, but uh, <laughs> I got my own brand, man. Jay Todd. Jay Todd is not just the name; it's the brand. Uh, I have my Todd Talks. That's on uh, Instagram. So make sure y'all go follow me at. Uh, J A Y underscore T O D D number two six. Um, make sure y'all go follow me on there as well as Twitter at J A Y T O D D two six. Um, I do music. I do comedy. Uh, I'm a poet. I have a poetry book coming out before the summer hits. What else do I do? Uh, I'm investing a lot of small black businesses, a lot of black owned businesses. So if you have a black owned business and you got a plan and you can't get it off the ground, hit me up. Let's see what we can do to get you going. Whether it's in materials, whether it's in promo, oh man, what else? What else do I do? You put me on the spot. Uh, I'm actually <laughs> at the studio right now. I'm actually at the studio right now uh, with, my, with my bro uh, Rano. He does music, man. Amazing producer, amazing artist. Um, you know, he's taking me under his wing, developing my artistship as far as uh, when it comes to music. What else do I do, man? I'm drawing. I know I do a lot more than what I've said. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm also, I'm the early college coordinator at Harris Stowe State University. That's the HBCU out in St. Louis. But I am a native of KC. So shout out to the Chiefs, shout out to the Royals, man. Shout out to the home team. But yeah, man, that's a, I'll probably have some more for y'all. I just, I'm drawing a blank right now because I've been working like a Hebrew slave. So forgive me. <laughs> I, like, I like to love to hear black excellence, man. And plus a young black man, you know, as ourselves doing a lot uh, with ourselves, And, you know, because a lot of us can, uh, take a heat of life and just and fall down and don't know how to get back up but you know what i mean i like i'm so proud of you i'm glad I'm, I'm, I'm glad of everything you got going on but what did you think about the brooklyn nets and Kyrie? because dre always oh, got something God. to say oh, no, about Kyrie. Okay. Right. no no okay so when we talk about Kyrie, we are not going to ignore that this man is one of the best point guards to play the game in a long time we are not going to ignore that um, and I love the fact of how Kyrie, Luke, Kyrie looks at basketball as a business. He shows up, he plays his games, and he goes home. Him going to the Nets, he wants to be – him going to the Nets initially, from, from my perspective, was he wanted to be the guy. But he eliminated that once he brought in KD and once he brought in Hardy. 
Like, <laughs> my my best thing for Kyrie, I wish he would have just stayed with LeBron and got some more rings. Like, I get that you want to be the guy. But to me, business-wise, as far as your brand, you don't ever want to be looked at as LeBron's shadow. But at the same time, Jordan needed Pippen. Oh, so, well, talk to stuff, bro. <laughs> so when I look at that, bro, I was like, like Kyrie is one of the best point guards to play the game. And as much as people would not agree with it, I would choose Kyrie over Steph. Do not ask me why. Y'all not ready for that argument? All right. I'm ready. I'm ready. I want that argument. I take that one. I take that argument. Jay always brought an argument. <laughs> <laughs> when, it comes, when it comes to Kyrie, bro, Kyrie has the ability. He's always had the ability to be the guy. But as far as the situation that he would put himself in, no. Nah. Like, it's not going. How can you be the guy with Kyrie? Well, well not with Kyrie. Uh, Ka- uh, KD, my bad. Because right. what is- I don't really have. Uh, I, I don't want to get me started on KD neither because, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, dig this. So, dig this. Like, for me, is this. Could you put Kyrie with the Golden State Warriors when they had Clay Thompson and Steph Curry? Like, my thing is this. You take out Steph Curry and put Kyrie in, in that role of Steph Curry. How would you think? How would the Golden State Warriors play out? Do they win a championship with Kyrie? Okay, so they would have won a championship, but not as easy. Why is this? And the reason why I say not as easy because Kyrie is not a, a, a three shooter like Steph. Steph is a point guard, but is shooting from beyond half court. If it was not for Steph's threes, granted, like Steph is a great facilitator. Don't get me wrong. That's why Kyrie is a, Kyrie is a great facilitator as well. So that's why they would have won it. They would have won a chip with Kyrie. But as far as like the swiftliness of it. It's because you got a person that's pulling up from, you know, 10 feet beyond, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, right, right beyond, off logos, is pulling threes, breaking three-point score records, right? breaking... He said off the logo. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, that's abnormal. That's abnormal. Nobody has ever done that. Nobody has ever, like... I mean, granted, like, Dame has his moments, but consecutively speaking, you have to cover steps the moment he steps pinky toe across the half court. I mean, like, absolutely. Absolutely. Like I'm saying, you can't do it with Kyrie Irving because he reminds me of an and one guy. He's an and one guy. He comes down the court, does his little his little dupe, like his little his little, his little moves and grooves. He's a magician. He's a magician. He's a magician. Yeah, all magician. that all that clever, all that nonsense, man. Why? This this why I don't like Kyrie Irving for real. I'm gonna be one hundred. When he played for Boston, bro, Boston before he came was already a team, already a team that that, that, was, that was built, that was ready. To take yeah. it to the next level. Why did Kyrie Irving go to Boston? I don't know because they didn't need Kyrie Irving for real. They didn't need he him. Wanted, he wanted to be the guy. That's that's like Kyrie since since Kyrie won his last ring with LeBron, he made it in his mind like, man, like this is cool, but like this is LeBron's ring. This is not Kyrie's ring. Which I wish he wouldn't. Whoever was in his ear telling him that it wasn't that LeBron Facts. was not a friend that, that he would not have won that ring without Kyrie. Like Kevin Love was not showing up. Everybody else was not showing up. The only person that was showing up with LeBron when he got that ring. What's Kyrie? Right. We know what Christian Thompson know. Thompson not Thompson played well though. The son he he did play well. He played well. Did he? He played well. Did he? Until <laughs> Chloe started coming along. The Kim Kardashian. Yeah, the Kim oh, yeah, Kardashian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey man. First off, first off, hey. Well, well, so why? Everybody knows that the Kardashians are curses to black men, and I'm gonna leave it at that. He's I gonna, gonna leave it at that. Hey, that's what I said. Change that though. So Johnny, talk, Johnny, Johnny, like, Johnny, Johnny, you see how Dre trying to just take it. He just trying to take his shot to Kyrie every time on the oh, show. He, Johnny, if he got a, Johnny, listen, Johnny, listen. If Kyrie, now, give me your, your honest opinion, bro. If Kyrie was to take Steph Curry's role in Golden State when they won the championship, like that era, right when they had Draymond Clay and it was rocking, right? Do you think they would have won a championship? It's just. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's interchangeable. I mean, they, they play the same way on, on reality. Um, I think Kyrie dribbles a little more, but it's not that. I think if you put him in that system, he wouldn't have to dribble as much. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you put Steph in a different system, he would probably dribble just as much. So, if you look at how much Steph dribble when Clay is out versus how, how, how few dribbles he take when Steph Clay's, you do what you need it. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Same like Dave dribble more when CJ out. So, that's all. I, I think it would have worked. It would have worked perfectly. Yeah, but it would have worked. Kyrie, Kyrie is hands down one of the best point guards of our time. He's just underrated because he keeps putting himself in underrated positions. Yeah, like that's just that's that's just it. Like if he would have if he if he would have went to another powerhouse team or if he would have stayed with LeBron, 
would have still been looked at as one of the people that you don't want to face when it comes to being a point guard. But because he put himself in a position where like now I'm the I'm one of the front men, which even then, like, I don't I don't see the Nets still meshing well together. Like you got all that star power, but for what? Like Harden is another guy that can be a facilitator. So why do I have two facilitators on the court? Why am I like, why do I have another <laughs> superstar like KD on the court if I got one guy that can be that? Now I got two guys that can be that. Now another person to come in and what they just got they just got Blake too, right? Right. So y'all trying to stack this team, but y'all stacking it with too many like power personalities and not enough people that can actually just play a role. Hmm. Like that, I, look that, I look at it from the position that they all can play a role. They just ain't ever been on a team that they had to play. Right. I look uh-huh. at it, when Harden was first with OKC, Harden was off the bench. He was good with that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So position wise, they've they've all been on teams where they had to score 30, 40 in, in order to win. And now they have to put in half the work to win a championship. So that's why I think it's gonna be so much easier than what they've ever faced before. And you know what? Let me piggyback off that, bro. I mean, you yeah, like honestly, both sides is correct. My thing with me is my my biggest take from this team, bro, is James Harden, bro. When he what he's yeah. doing now. And I was yeah. like, man, this boy's balling. Honestly, bro, I'll be he, this dude is balling. He's playing good ball right now, bro. So he's comfortable. Is, yeah, yeah, because like remember, okay, remember what John talking about last show was like he ain't as tired too. You gotta realize right. he, ain't right. a, he ain't facing a double team every right. time he come up the court. You know, what I mean? you can't double Facts. no more. Facts. So I like it, bro. Like sometimes, bro, you at, after what? Look, listen, your thing is you just hate Kyrie. I do, I do, bro. Thank you, Max. <laughs> I appreciate it. Appreciate that, Max. I do. I'm sorry, but the thing is, bro, it's like. Look what LeBron did, bro. When LeBron went to the Heat, bro, he got tired of carrying Cleveland, bro. He didn't have no help. He got tired. So he went to That's Miami exactly with D Wade. Exactly. Went to D Wade and brought Bosch in, bro. It's like you get tired. Remember, Jordan had Pippen. Right. Jordan had Pippen, bro. So Jordan do all by himself, bro. Jordan then, had, then he had then he had Pippen. Then he had Rodman. Rodman. Absolutely. Cool coach. He, they had they had a team. They had a solid defense. They yeah. had a team, bro. Mm-hmm. So it's like this, you, you know, like even even with the Boston Celtics, bro, when they have uh Paul Perry's grown Andy Ray Allen, bro, they had Rondo. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They had good pieces around them, bro. You know what I'm saying? But they they understood, okay, one common goal, bro. Let's get to the championship, bro. Let's put the egos aside. My biggest take from this Brooklyn team is when it get real, when it gets real, bro, and these teams try to hone in what they're doing, can they put the egos to the side, bro, and, and, and focus on one common goal? The one bro. person that I can say that's not gonna do that is KD. That's the I don't think they have to. Right? They're individually too talented. They, were, right. they don't have to. I mean, like, think about, like you just said, Boston, they had Rondo and KD, I mean, K, and um, Paul Pierce, and they ain't right. nothing compared to the talent level what this team is. Even the Warriors, yes. the Warriors were a good, talented team, like cohesiveness. But individually, yes. bro, there's never been a team with this much individual firepower to say, give it to them, go get a bucket. And you can't them. Yes. If you can't double them, you're going to foul them, or they're yeah. going to just lay it. And, 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 and like, so a lot of lot, lot of people ain't uh, like I said last time. A lot of people ain't giving Steve Nash no credit. You know what I mean? He is Marcus Aldridge like, was shooting three last night too, man. You right. gotta pay attention to that. So they really got good spacing. Mm-hmm. They do. They do. It's facts. That's facts. Yep. Bro, look at San Antonio, bro. Look what San Antonio had, bro. When they was down, they had bro Duncan. They had Janobi Parker. They had yeah. people. Pop brought in pieces, bro. He brought in pieces that fit that system they was in. He just brought in and, pieces, and the, bro. The thing about it was, like, with those pieces, they was all individual superstars. Like, they could go to another team and be the guy. Like, yeah. they, they, they could go to the other team and be the guy. And, but when they got to the, to one cohesive unit and saying, look, we all are those guys. Let's be those guys as a cohesive unit, as a team to get one thing done. I'm not saying I don't see that happening with the Nets, but it's going to take them some time. I agree they, with they, that. Because they, they, they doing, they doing, they balling right now. They balling right now. When the pressure's on, and y'all gotta, I gotta face them. You gotta face LeBron. Yeah. LeBron. You gotta face, face a healthy AD and whoever else. Like it's like, oh, okay. So are y'all ready to not fold? Because we know as much as people want to look at KD, is like KD is a phenomenal, one of the best in the league. I will always I give him to KD. I don't, I don't like him, but I will always give him that. And part of me doesn't like him because of that. Mm-hmm. Ironic. But when it's time for KD to not fold. We've seen KD fold multiple times. He turned into a big old kid. Since, since he is. Punk, with, punk he is. With, the, with the Warriors, you've seen him come through clutch too, though. Right. He uh, did. I mean, because because he because like he had to, because what he did with the Warriors, and nobody ever wants to agree with me on it, but what he did with the 
I can can I cuss on here or no? Do you want no. me to not? No, no, no. no way. <laughs> this depends how strong your cuss word is. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna bro, we all slip. Hey, we all slip, bro. We all slip. Bro. We all slip. <laughs> okay, okay. I ain't gonna say I ain't gonna say it. But KD, KD, like perfect example. I give perfect example I always give with KD, right? KD was the kid that like him and his homeboys was getting bullied, but he was the kid out of the entire group that could fight. And he then he was banged with everybody. But when the bullies joined together, they jumped KD. And his friend, he felt like his friends got let down. That next summer. You see KD coming back from summer school, being friends with the bullies, going back to beat up on his friends. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that was. That's, that's exactly, a good point. That's exactly it is. what that was. And I lost all respect. How do you blow a... You are the guy. I don't care how much people want to look at Russell Westbrook. It's like, what's, Russell Westbrook can't do it. Yeah. All you had to do was pull out one game and you, you get your butts whooped. Like, I mean, like... The Warriors, I don't know what got into the Warriors, but it was like, hey, like, he's folding right now. But no, it's KD. They up 3-1. No, he's folding right now. He's acting like a child. He's folding right now. So not only are we going to make him feel uncomfortable at his home, but we're going to make him – we're going to beat him so bad to where he hates where he's at, he's going to have to come to us. <laughs> but they all they recruit they recruited him as well, though. So, yeah, he wins yeah. him. But they, they Draymond called him after Brian beat them. Three, mm-hmm. I think, ironically, from 3-1 right. and said, come help us. It's all, it's all in that same nature. I, I I look at it from the standpoint of I don't think he owed, owed the organization loyalty. I mean, I get the, how the, the optics of it looked bad, but I think as a basketball player to, to want to play on the highest level with the highest team, with the highest players, I, I understand that. Percent. Yeah. I, outside of even winning the ring, I think just to be able to play with the highest organization to see how smooth things can run and how it can be. Like we all know Russell Westbrook is just extremely high-headed. So to accomplish yeah. anything mm-hmm. with him is like almost – they got as close as they could with the personality that, that Russell had. So it wouldn't yeah. he wouldn't have got any further anyway. You know what? I agree with you 100 percent bro. My thing is like that was a good take what you said though yeah. about the bullies, bro. Because my thing is Jordan didn't play with Detroit. Jordan didn't get beat him. I'm going to I'm going, I'm going to Detroit, play with Detroit and beat up on the Bulls. You and know that, what I'm saying? That's because, me, and that's because KD is a like I said, I, I had to make sure I couldn't cuss because KD that's facts. is is he's a bona fide. Mm-hmm. That's like, like my whole. Game. That's like my whole. It's like Tyreek Hill joining the Bucks. Here we go. Look, you about to say something? You know, I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying. I'm speaking truth. I'm speaking truth, bro. Tread lightly. Tread lightly. It's like Tyreek Hill. It's like Tyreek Hill is going to the Bucks, right? It's like yeah. Dallas, It's like it's like Clark going to Tampa Bay. Yeah. You know what I'm like, saying? Bro, it, real talk. You it, lose it, respect. It, Cause it's like with, with KD, the respect that he lose though. I guess that's what you would say. Like some from Kevin, and like if you were Kevin Durant from yeah. saying I'm leaving the OKC to go to the Warriors, whose respect would you care about losing? Like if you if it was you, I mean for me personally, for me, everybody uh, know you left because of Westbrook. Oh, everybody oh, everybody oh, leave Westbrook. <laughs> everybody bro. leave Westbrook. Bro, you know what, bro? We real talk. Westbrook is like the kid, the stingy kid that don't want to share. <laughs> You know, and like the thing about it was like with the I look at it like as management, whoever was like, you know, being underneath those deals, when I would have seen that my star, one of the best players in the league, period, right. is having a problem with this one person. Right. Regardless of how they work cohesively, sometimes I'm looking to trade this man because we can get a ring with this guy. That's nice right. for real. Like they could have they could have they, they could have easily traded Russell at any point or opted for something for him to, like, shake because Russell wasn't comfortable. As much as he thought he was the guy, he knew he wasn't the guy. And that's why he was trying to be so stingy because he's like, nah, I'm trying to prove to y'all that it's me. And it's like, nah, it's it's really KD. You could, I mean, okay, it's you was messing doing, up. Okay, see so what's doing when they picked Ibaka over Harden. Though. That's when you knew they was going to fall apart. <laughs> so, they was oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, no, 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 that's wait. facts. So we're going to talk about like, what, 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 what they said, what what else we got going on with K- KD? What what happened to KD? What are you apologizing about, um, John? Uh, and I feel I feel indifferent about this one. Like I don't have I don't have no beef with it. Um, but Michael Rappaport said something about KD doing an interview with Charles Barkley and Shaq. Two game. Um, they got into a little heated exchange via DM. I ain't gonna go in a comment on it. And Michael Rappaport went publicly and uh, posted the comments of KD on what KD said. And I just. I just think that was lame. You, you can't try to, I don't know. I just think Michael Rappaport, man, he tried to ride culture too much. And he yeah. talked too slick. And KD let him know that you you can't talk like that. And he, he ran to he ran to the public to get public approval. And I, that's weak. We don't, I, don't that, I mean, that you got to look at the fact like that's that's the culture. We live in such a cancel culture to where like 
KD was definitely in the right for how he responded because you ain't gonna let, especially a person that's not of the culture, you you gonna attack me in my element. So I'm gonna check yeah, this. But Rappaport being of being a culture vulture and being of of colonization, you know DNA. Right. <laughs> so right. I gotta make sure I, I don't cuss. I mean, <laughs> We but doing of, pretty good so far, sir. Right, right. <laughs> a being, but a being of that nature, he did exactly what they're known to do. Let me be, let me try to bully this person real quick. Oh my God, you can fight? No, <laughs> like that's exactly what it was. Yeah. That's exactly what it was. KD was in his right. Granted, even then, still, KD is still what I think he is. I do have some respect for KD now because he likes to stand on his decisions. But ever since then, I mean, granted, what's what is my respect amount up to KD? He's a millionaire. I'm probably never gonna meet this man in my in my life. If I do, I'm gonna still say, hey man, I, I lost respect for you after this, but I get it. Like it's about bread and it's about getting the ring and solidifying your legacy nobody goes to the nba just to now granted people do go to the nba to provide for their families and to change lives however right. when you know that you are one of them ones you're not just there to just provide for your family you want to be a hall of famer you want to ring you want to be you want to break a record that's what it is that's why you look at uh Lamello right now he's going crazy right now. he's losing his mind right now not playing it is because that kid he's gone against two older brothers who he's like i'm the guy they all thought it was going to be you know, Lonzo. They all thought it was gonna be oh, what's the other boy name? Because you know, I keep forgetting about him. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but that that boy is going to be in the history books. More of my words. I don't care how much people want to look at at uh, Levar like a, like a like a terrorist. That man is a genius, and he did exactly. <laughs> yep. That man Johnny said it. Both of y'all said it, bro. Y'all, y'all both. Johnny and his folks said it. I mean, Max. That, my bad. Don't call you back. <laughs> Yeah, but he is a genius, I, man. Like he, he's a he, lot. Of, he, he let, let him been a white dad. I'm gonna go ahead and say, let him been a white dad that was pushing his boys out there like that. He have been called the genius. He have been called the wizard of all. He been called the greatest. He have been called the god of all. He's such a great promoter, right? So when it comes to a black father doing anything and, and, and trying to be there for his kids, like oh, he's a helicopter father. Oh, he's this. Brooklyn he's that. He 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 need to let his kids breathe. Hey, you know, he, he a good point. Hey, y'all just made a good point about being self. It's like Tyreek Hill. I speak on Tyreek Hill a lot though. Here he goes. It's like, <laughs> why do you? Why are you so self with your money, bro? You gonna tell them you're taking a pay cut? But I was like, bro, like like a Westbrook because Tyreek Hill fit that description of a bully. You know what I'm saying? That little fast bad kid. You know what I'm saying? Like going to the they ain't wearing shoes outside playing basketball, ain't wearing shoes. You know what I'm saying? You got hard feet, you stepping on glasses. He said got I'm hard feet. Selfish, because my thing is this, bro. It's like if Mahomes taking a pay cut, look at all the great taking pay cut. Mahomes, Brady, they all take pay cuts, bro, to build a team up. But for you to say, I'm not taking a pay cut. So yeah, tell me it's like, well, what your what your intentions are? We talking about so KD talking here, sir. We talking about KD. I'm just saying, bro. My bad. <laughs> I mean, okay, bro, you know what I'm like, saying? Like, Tyreek, I look at it like this. Mahomes is amazing. He's something never seen before in the, in the NFL. But without a Tyreek Hill, it's going to be hard for him to maintain that. Because yep. you don't have Remember I said that, Jay? Have, we don't we don't have we don't have a Tyreek Hill anywhere else. Like we got some speedsters, but Tyreek Hill is a one in a million speedster that you only see every what seven to ten years in the league? Yep. And yep. he knows that. He knows that. So it's like, bro, like you already got the biggest contract. So of course you're gonna take a pay cut. Why wouldn't you? Yeah. I'm making this. I'm not gonna. Y'all gonna honor this because if y'all don't, there's a there's a whole handful of teams that actually want me. They study mm-hmm. their defenses around me. Like, yeah, Pat. They're gonna study defenses around Pat because he's a quarterback. That's that's natural. But to have. A double team on what Tyreek Hill? What like what five, six, five, seven? Right. Five, to have to have that in the NFL, they double team him. They're stretching deep. Of course, I'm not gonna take a pick. Do y'all know who I am? Why, do, why would you even ask me to do that? Hey, right. he's a he's a munchkin. He's a he's a little black munchkin, man. Listen, hey, there he is. There you go. Travis Kelsey to me, Travis Kelsey to me is like to me is like so I believe he's so underrated compared to Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill is great, his speed, but like, but like I said, his on the last show, it's a guy bro named Randall Moore, bro, just as fast as Tyreek Hill, yeah, just, yeah. just as good. 
Yeah. He can be replaced, bro. My thing, he can be replaced, bro. It's a lot of teams that can run that same speed, bro. He's just but, speedster, that's the same, bro. but they don't have it, but they don't have that gumption, boy. Tyreek Hill has that gumption where like if you throw it and I'm in a triple team, I'm gonna still go up for it. Right. I don't care if I get Tyreek Hill's a dog. It's, it's, He's he's different. Tyreek Kill's different. It's different. He's different. Now, do you think yeah. hey, if he goes to another team, is he gonna have the same success like he had here? You got to have the same. You got you got to have the same a type of arm that's gonna get him the ball like that. You you don't have right. people that can throw throw a bomb to where he knows I'm gonna like if I throw this here, Tyreek can actually go get it. Or like, if Tyreek runs, hey, if I'm gonna keep running. I know eventually when I look up, I'm gonna see a ball going over my Perfect. head. But, you don't have nobody that can throw an, an accurate bomb like that. Except that it's a match made in heaven to me, because you know who who do you have that can throw a bomb that accurate? And don't bring Brady. We're not going to talk about Brady. I don't care about Brady. Oh, I'll, I love I'll, this. I'll, I'll, I, love I, will this. See, I will leave this podcast. Hey, that's my trigger. That's my trigger. Hey, nah, but uh, like hence like hence only paid Manny. Hence can't stand paid Manny. Oh yeah. I love Peyton. I love Peyton. I, Peyton, Peyton. Peyton. I take a Peyton Manning any day over a Tom Brady. I say that. Say again, bro. Say I'll again. take a Peyton Manning over a Tom Brady any day. Hey, Max, you hear that, Max? You hear that? <laughs> I just hate Tom Brady. Nah, you know Brady. why I hate Peyton I respect, Manning. Hey, I respect Tom Brady to the fullest, bro, because of what he accomplished, bro. Like, I, I couldn't stand Tom Brady for years. I couldn't stand my head. You know why? He kept winning. Why is he winning? Now, at, now don't start what? the whole – don't do not do it the whole spine gate and – and the deflating of the ball, bro. We played backyard football. We played football with flat balls, bro. We played it. We did it. It, it was nothing. So why am I? <laughs> why is it so? Why is it so bad? Because you got a couple ounces of the ball. A couple. Of, listen, we played ball like that, bro. We played street ball, right? We played with the from flat balls, bro. So why was that so like? Hey man, look, oh, deflate gate. Play. That's what they call them. Deflate gate. Tom Brady. Belly and Belichick. Grimy. That's it. That's it. Oh, girl. And then if you want to talk about it, y'all really want to go into an old bay, the one that was the first, you know, female, first woman uh, referee in a Super Bowl game. Her son name is Brady. She named her son after Tom Brady. Right. Come on. That's love. That's love, though. Hey, that's love. No, that ain't love. That's respect. That's a- hey, that's respect, man. Hey, I, listen. Oh. listen, I'm not. Hey, listen. I, hey, somebody named, hey, Dre, I love you so much. I'm a friend of you, Dre. I'm going to call my son Dre. Right, but then so, so okay, so then so then to that child support girl. No, no. You're like you know you better stop naming that baby after this game. So you don't think it's fishy that you got somebody that love you that much and then they end up officiating your championship game, and you think you're gonna lose that championship game? No, no. No, he ain't gonna answer that, Jake. He ain't gonna answer that, Jake. I can't can't, listen. Listen, I I I can't speak on what I don't know. I can't speak about what, but what I do know, I what I do refer- know, I think I all see- referees have a favorite player, or a favorite team, or a favorite. Come on, talk your stuff, Johnny. Talk your stuff. I don't stuff, think it's no referee that's that's going to the Super Bowl and don't say I like that team over that team. And I and I dig that, but at the same time, there have always been allegations against Ooh. Brady and Belichick, always putting some money where the money doesn't need to be at. And we've seen it with multiple games where the Patriots should not have won at all. We've seen it. We've yeah. seen has it. Any, has anybody in life been successful, been 100% honest their whole life? No, not. I'm not seeing we're not talking about ethics. He's <laughs> 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 bringing in ethics. So you can bring it now listen, no. I'm talking about Brady and Belichick. They now, listen, <laughs> this is another good point, though. I kind of, it's kind of off of, off of football, real quick. Mayweather should have lost most of his fights. Oh, yeah, that's definitely. <laughs> Come on, bro. Let's be 100. Let's be 100, bro. Definitely. I'm not hating on the black. I'm not hating, bro. Not at all. Mike Madonna, bro. Madonna should have beat Mayweather, bro. The first one. He should have beat him. First time or the second time? The first time. Second time, you know, figured him out. I get that BS. And Pacquiao <laughs> should have won. Pacquiao should have won. Pacquiao, Pacquiao should have, bro. Pacquiao outboxed him. That's why, like, Floyd will never step into the ring with Pacquiao again. And he, nobody bro, gets it. It was so many excuses. Like, well, his shoulders messed up. Bro, you praised this dude after the fight. But when he said, oh, my shoulders banged up. Oh, he shouldn't have said that. Mayweather, you scared, bro. Why come you got Mike Madonna rematch, bro? Why can't we get all these other guys? You box rematches and simple. He's trying to fight that one little little TikTok, little Vine, Instagram white boy. You can fight him for his position, nah. but you can't get the people what you want that could potentially be one of your biggest money makers. Thanks, and, man. And, and, and you're God, he, he gonna make more money fighting this little TikTok person than he gonna make. That, yeah, that, I know he is. Gonna, it's a business. Do you think you think do you think that tick you, you think that YouTube dude gonna win? Yep. And I 
Do you think he'll beat? No, I don't think so. Bro, if he knock out Mayweather, bro, I'm, I, I'm done. I'm, I'm gonna laugh. I'm, I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna be like, wow, he beat yeah. Mayweather. If he knocks out Mayweather, the black community needs to be in the uproar. We need to cause riots somewhere <laughs> because <laughs> yeah, good Nate Robinson, bro. I'll be, so, be so stunned. I, I said nah. I said nah, bro. Nah, I, I don't. My thing is for the scale. The moment I so I I used to box. I boxed for three years. The moment right. I saw Nate Robinson step in the ring, and he the moment the bell rung and Nate Robinson did this, he went up to fight. I was like, oh, he I was like this is it. I was like, I was like, I don't even know why. I, whoever his trainers are, he needs to fire them and then sue them because they did <laughs> he not. Him. That's the thing. He wasn't training. He didn't take it serious. He didn't. He did not take it, it serious. He, he didn't know. Bro, my thing is this: like, I'm sorry. Anytime you put me against a person of non-color and you say that I got, I have to win this. It's not about us making it a color issue. The culture is gonna look at it like, boy, if you don't beat this white boy, like, because <laughs> white people, think, at- bro, that's a good point. That's a good point. At the same time, that's why I took his L because he had that. He had that mindset that he didn't have to put in that work. He didn't have to play. I mean, dude, been boxing for two, three years. Yeah. So it ain't like he was a, was a not. He was really working on his craft for a while. Bro, he was Jake, right. My Jake, yeah. Paul? Jake Paul. Hey. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Hey, I respect, <laughs> buddy. I respect and, and, him, but I, and I, I respect him too because he's he's doing exactly what the culture calls for. I'm trolling everybody. I'm yeah. making it to where if you don't fight me, you're canceled because of whatever other issue there is. And I'm going to call you a bluff for everything. This man has literally called out every major fighter, period. And it's shock value. It's money. Yeah. Yeah. He's making it's money off the business. fact that it's, it's, it's the shock value. So it's like if I... If I, I I would not be surprised if down the line, after he has a couple of more fights with a couple more big names, that he don't call out Mike Tyson. I would not be surprised. Well, that will listen. Now listen. It will. Listen. It will be dumb. It will be dumb. It will be very well, dumb. But, but I create. Okay, I get. I get what you're saying. It's business. It's, a bit, it's shock value because that's it's what business, the right. made off of now. It's I got you. Well, Brandon, Brandon Marshall said he won. Uh, was it Dante Wilder? Didn't he? No, he don't. No, he don't. <laughs> why, do, why do I kill him? Why do I kill him? Uh, but, but, but then who knows? Y'all talk. Y'all talking boxing, so if Mike Tyson said right now, I, I want to, I, I think I just want to get back in the ring and I want to, I want to get an actual contender. I want to, I want to fight. <laughs> I think I, if Deontay Wilder, he doesn't know the sport of boxing. He just has the right hand. I just, I just want to give it to him a good, he has a good five rounds. We can donate towards charity, so we can do. If you had Mike Tyson and Wilder in a in a match, who you getting? Wilder. I'm taking Tyson. Wilder, man. Hey, I, I, Tyson, I, I, chin, Tyson Chin is weak. Tyson haven't been in the ring for so long, bro. He, Tyson let still skilled. Let you, let you, let you go, there. Ring, let you go there and talk about his chin is weak. Let's see how much some dreads you have in your head. Dre, your Dre, your dreads going to be knocked in the first row. Max, <laughs> if you don't stop Max. If you listen, man, listen, we knew there was an attachment. Hey, we knew them dreads was an attachment. I'm talking about dreads getting pulled out. All I know is Mike Tyson, when I saw him fight Roy Jones, the only oh. reason why he did not knock Roy Jones out is because they told him not to. Right. Facts. Respect. Facts. And, and Facts. for Mike Tyson to be 50-something into the – Mike Tyson has been hungry since he's fell off. Mm-hmm. So all he's yeah. been doing is training and working. He, I mean, you can look at the hangover films and the, the cartoons and the commercials, but, like, Mike Tyson is still a dog that is hungry for, like, I want, if you put me against the test, I'm going to prove to y'all, like, that I'm not just this washed-up dude. So if you tell me Tyson and Wilder going to go at it, Tyson is going to take that. He's going to get no. Wilder. Because Wilder ain't never – only time Wilder has actually really been hit is against Fury, and Fury has been – I watched him. Wilder. He, he whooped Wilder. Like He did. But then, but then at the same time, I'm gonna tell you, I'm saying about Fury. Fury, an ex cokehead. I'm not fighting no ex cokehead. Y'all see Fury get knocked out and how he popped back up? <laughs> like the Undertaker. <laughs> the moment he 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 was out, he that that's that little leftover in the system. I'm like, I'm, I'm not ever fight. You tell me, hey, buddy, used to be on coke heavy. I would never fight that man in his life because he know he had been through some stuff. No sir, but but Fury. Wilder has never really been against like a real fighter except Fury. Yo, hey, you know what? I'm gonna say this: Fury. People don't realize how good Fury is, man. Fury, Fury is, is a, a, is a boxer. Is amazing boxer. Yeah, the dude. He got a, he got the psychological game, bro. Wilder. Everybody keep giving me excuses about Wilder, but 40 pounds of weight or Wilder this. I said, bro, Wilder is a <laughs> knockout artist. He came out there trying to knock this dude out. He was white, trying to knock him out, trying to expose him, and he got beat. He got outboxed. He got outboxed to the fullest. Like, I'm embarrassed because 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 Wilder and I'm like I would never say this like 
I, of course, yeah, I got my experience boxing wise, but as far as like a professional, like Wilder, right? He can always talk what he want to talk. But mm-hmm. Wilder is just your average street dude you knew for knocking everybody out with that one good hit, yeah. and then he just he just got a break, and now he's a professional. Wilder, I have yet to see Wilder actually box somebody and fight somebody. He's just Facts. waiting. He's waiting to punish somebody with that. With what was it? This is right. I think it's right. Yeah, right. He's, he's ready to punish somebody with that. That's it. I don't. I don't ever see a. Oh, but he taking it to him. It's like nah. He just he gonna knock him out. That's just it. And I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you an example, bro. We're gonna cut you off. Give you an example. I'm sure what he did. He took yeah. him the distance. What it is a fire like that, bro. You take him past the fifth round, bro. Past his element, bro. You're gonna beat him, bro. You're gonna yeah. beat him. One Bro, thing about Mike Tyson a- was this, bro. People don't realize Tyson. Everybody would. Everybody said this about Tyson. We, you take Tyson past the seventh round, you got to know. Tyson went the distance before. Yeah. Tyson went the distance before, so you can't say, "Well, Tyson gets tight." No, he don't. The boy gets tight. One thing about Mike Tyson is this: you got to take his punches. You got to take that man's punches, man. I mean, yeah, yeah. said I was about Tyson hits hard. With that said, we're gonna, we gonna, we gonna go back into the uh, the basketball. What, what else you got good going on for us, uh, Johnny? This is gonna be the last take that we're gonna let you go, Jay. Me uh, uh Jay. Okay. You good? I think the only other game I checked out last night was um the Nuggets versus the Clippers, Aaron, Aaron Gordon is still fitting into the system. Um which I think is what makes the, the, the Nuggets a real problem in the playoffs. They won the game one on one in ninety four. Uh, they played earlier in the season and the Clippers won that game. But the combination of Michael, you know, Michael Porter was already going to be a star. Um, mm-hmm. They already had Joker, they already had Murray. And I think Gord, man, it's just, it's, it's too, too balanced. Once again, I think this is why the West is going to be some, such a problem come playoff time, simply because you got teams like Denver and like Phoenix who they just going to throw a hiccup or a wrench in there for, for the Clippers and the Lakers, you know. So you never know what series going to go seven unexpectedly or where you can get a, a sneak injury out of, out of nowhere because you got a game. That's close with two minutes left or something like that. So, was rewarded for what he did what, the well, this is going to be definitely, definitely something to see come playoff time. No, nah, definitely, definitely. The West is. I'm, I'm ready to see what the West is going to do. I just know LeBron got his work cut out for him, man. Whenever he get healthy, the way that, you know everything is training out. I, I granted, but I think LeBron's going to shit. Of course, not, not even going to hesitate with answering that. But the West is, the West is doing something crazy right now, and I think the East. Maybe what two good contenders, if that. I don't see any, like, I don't have any, like, thing. I'm like, I hear the Celtics from the East. I'm like, oh, yeah, they lost it. Like, maybe the Celtics. And that's just because you have 100 Jason Tatum. Right? Maybe. And ma- maybe. And then, I mean, we, then we, got, we have to get in this conversation, right? But, I mean, who else would y'all say coming from the East is going to, like, give the West some issues? Well, let me uh, let me go ahead and kick the door down on this one. Uh, um, Right here. Like, I feel like the Sixers would because of MB, man. Because MB, like I said, in the playoffs, bro, it's about winning down low. It's all about down low ball, man. I feel like with MB and B coming down there and, and be, be a force down there and create that problem down there. You know what I'm saying? Get get, get some foul trouble. Like, when you have a great center like that, it puts so much pressure on the opposite team because now when he's diamond like that, bro, it's going to cause a, it's gonna cause a problem because they're going to foul him. You know, you know what, what cancel all that out though is the Marcus Aldridge play on the three point line. So you bring you bring Embiid out there and then the whole paint is open. You see what I'm saying? So everything you say and it makes sense until yeah. you realize it's the counter for it. Yeah. You put DeAndre Jordan in there and have DeAndre Jordan catch him back and go live. You see what I'm saying? So that that's that's where your hiccup comes in. Is you you gotta be able to switch for what they switch with. It ain't about like stopping Kyrie from scoring 50 no more. It's about the matchups that you got to worry about. That's true, that's true too. And then like on part top of that, bro. That goes both sides, both ways too, because they and B can go down low and he can put the archers in foul trouble too at the same wow. time too. So basically on your other side. You're more the likely ball. to get doubled. You see what I'm saying? If you got Hunter right. guarding right there, you can put DeAndre Jordan right there to come around. You have Blake Griffin down there. KD is big enough to, uh, to double and be. Actually, KD is fast enough where he can come down and double and be and get back out to the three if and be throws it out. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. I get what you're saying. It's just there's so many more so reactive plays so that you can come right. up with. Right, I got you. Uh, but see, but here's the thing though: is Brooklyn or are they defensive minded like that though? In the playoffs, everybody play half court basketball, so they're gonna have to. They're gonna have to. Put the ball like, in the post. It's, it's common sense to drop down in the post. I mean, that's that's second nature. Right. right. That be for real. Real talk to me. I want to see what Brooklyn gonna do when they face all type of issues like they down by thirty five, bro, or. It's like like How who's gonna happen? be that person to step up though? <laughs> who who, who be that person to step up? 
Huh? They all can shoot. They all can shoot. You know yeah, I mean? they all can shoot. But see, the, the Eagles, my brother. It's the Eagles, my brother. I feel like, forget Kyrie, man. The ball comes down to KD. It comes down to KD and James Harden, man. It comes down to those two boys, man. Yeah, but I that's feel why like, you're going to win, I, I really like, don't so like how like, much you like, I mean, K- like, Kyrie. Really? Like, so like, yeah. so I like, know, man. Dude, say, uh, you know, he said he I thought know. the Lakers, you know, for sure was going to win the chip. I think out of – if you look at all the teams that's in potential playoff – Potential right now, the Lakers have the, the two weakest starting guards at point and shooting, and yeah. you can look at their backup guards. So yeah, they got Bron. I just don't think it's been as balanced to where the, the Suns got two dope guards, the Jazz got two mm. dope guards, the Clippers got a dope roster, the Nuggets got a dope roster, the Blazers got CJ and Dame. So it's like there is no advantage that there's LeBron ain't got no advantage like he's ever had before. Yeah, and that's why I think the Nets have advantage because the East is weaker, and the West, bro, it's gonna be. Tough for LeBron getting out of there, especially because he's gonna have to do so much mm-hmm. because he doesn't have Kyrie or D Wade. Yeah, he got AD, but that's another big man. So that's that don't offset what you need a, a dope guard to do. And I'm not putting my faith in Dennis Schroeder and Alex Caruso. No, I'm that's not. All- hey, 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 you know what though? No one got everybody missing the point. That's King James, though. That's yeah, King that's James. I say, like that's, that's why I stand. The dude, the dude went, went non straight. That, that's, that's, that's why I said last last show, I was like. If he pulled this off and through all that, and then he beats Brooklyn, where is he at at the, at the, at the top of the greatest? You know what I mean? He's better than Jordan. I, I get it. Well, okay, so right now, so right now, the Lakers are in the fourth seed. So hypothetically, if the playoffs start today, the Lakers got to face the Nuggets. Are you saying they're gonna steamroll the Nuggets, or they got that's going seven? I think that's going seven. That's yeah. going seven. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going, going seven. two, Johnny. That's going you know seven. Saying? That's going seven. It's I'm saying that to the Joker. Yeah. I like Joker. Right. Joker to me is dope. Joker yeah. is dope. So if your first but, round matchup is the nut is, is the Nuggets, okay, hypothetically your, your second round matchup is, is the Suns. I mean, sheesh. I mean, in, but in, see, in the I love it, finals, you got to play the Clippers or the Jazz. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's not. Though, it but, sounds it sounds dope saying you got King James until you realize like, oh, this is loaded, bro. This ain't no bubble. This is traveling. Yeah. This is staying in a hotel. This is everything. This is real basketball now. Yeah. So I, I give him the ring in the bubble when you you got to sit in the hotel and be comfortable and you can get in there by head. But now you got to be at the airport at 3 a.m. You know, you got you got so much more to do and you got so many more teams that's loaded. So I just look at the fact that it's, it's King James, but it's a King James that wants to complete this legacy. Because I feel like once because LeBron got LeBron got three, he got four. He got four rings, right? Four rings. Is it, yeah, four. Yeah, four. Yeah, four. LeBron wants five. I I would love to see LeBron win six, but I know LeBron wants five, and that's just because it's like there is no way possible that you can keep comparing me. Now I am in my own lane. Like, well, you didn't get you didn't get six like such. You didn't get this. It's not about that. LeBron has faced an entire league stacked against him. Like at one point, I don't care as much as people want to look at Jordan. As this, that, and the third. Number one, Jordan had to play against, like, he had to play in a whole different league of era of like of Hoopers. Yep. But at the same time, Jordan still had a whole nother team of dogs with him. Correct. LeBron has had to be the dog against an entire league. Like, they, they didn't start making super teams until LeBron went to to uh to the heat and even then they didn't nobody really considered the heat a super team until like they was like, oh, they actually about to win another championship. Yep. Oh, they about to do this. We didn't even start making this culture. Like, they, an entire culture of basketball was formed because of LeBron being who LeBron is, which is the king. An entire league of – an entire culture league of basketball didn't form back when Jordan was being Jordan because that was already there. Jordan just had to I, be Jordan. I think outside of the NBA being that, though, I think that's because of generational. Like, yeah, what the definitely. NBA started doing is the same thing you did with AAU. You went to go play with your homies. So of I just course. think they was, of course, of the age range to where it was more okay – and LeBron was the first one to, to, to step out and take that leap. Right. But I, I, I just don't think they they weren't as cool with each other back in the, the 90s. You get what I'm saying? It was it was not disrespectful to each other, but like they it wasn't social media. So you really didn't know anybody. You get what I'm saying? Where players really know each other now. That's why it's it's different. It ain't competitive. And back then you had and back then you had players who were close, but you would never like see them in that close element. Now you see you know, Dwayne Wade and LeBron and Chris Paul, everybody on the on a and LeBron, you know, they all on a boat kicking it. But like you never knew that Larry Bird and Michael Jordan yeah. and such such was playing golf this weekend because like you said, it's a social media age. So I feel like with LeBron, once he gets the fifth and 
because I'm just a super fan, I want to see LeBron and, Bar- and Bronny in the league at the same time, which I feel like that's when LeBron ultimately re- will retire. It's like when his son is playing the same season as him. Because, I mean, that'll be history. That's another thing where you can't say that nobody's ever done it. Well, I don't think so, at least. Not to this caliber. But I, I can see LeBron getting five. But, all right, yep. But at the same time, we have to look at, like, LeBron puts $6 million into his body a year. So, I, I, don't, I don't know. Him no more. I, I just simply think the West – I don't know. I think the, the bubble benefit benefited him in a way that um that we all know it, but I think I he, he knows it on a crazy way. And I, I think that'll be the scapegoat if this season don't fall through. Yeah. I just I, just, I don't know. I, I just think the West is too loaded. Like if you would have told me that almost through the complete season that the Jazz is the number one seed, I I wouldn't have believed you. Then you said the Suns is number two. It mm-hmm. would just really made you look at like what is going on in the West. No, nobody nobody ain't talking about Utah. You talk right. jazz, you know, and, and they jazz number one good. team in the West. Yeah, but you know what? But, hey, hey, but listen though, but listen though. When it comes to these number one, number one, these both number like number one seeds, it don't mean nothing to me, bro. Because I ain't seen number number one teams get knocked off in the first round, bro. My thing is this, bro. It's about yeah, the, bro. The, but Mike the, Conley, and, and Mike Conley, and them playing on a different level, dog. They just won twenty games straight. That's what I'm saying. Like you ain't understanding. These teams are really hooping. Like you think I mean, when you, the Spurs and the and the Grizzlies is battling for eight and nine. So you mean to tell me if the Lakers got to play the the Grizzlies, regardless of how much they beat them, John Moran is gonna be a problem every night. Like so, I'm not saying that the Lakers won't advance, but no. every round is gonna be so hard. Like LeBron is hypothetically, I want to say we probably can look up, I think, seven or eight times he swept the first round of the playoffs. Right. Yeah. Or, and, and the second round. So what yeah. happens when you have seven game series every time and you expect it to go against the Monstars in the finals? That's the only way I'm looking at it from that perspective. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Hey, hey, but you know, though, see, the thing with LeBron James now, he has to help now to get it done, though. He, he got to help now. Like, when he went and gets back in LeBron's younger oh, days. Oh, sir. Every matchup, they are down in the guard play, bro. It ain't got one team. <laughs> Tell him, the Johnny. West in the playoffs. But listen, though, listen, though. Good. Listen, though. Do you actually think LeBron is going to lose in the first round? Let's say, let's say LA do go 8 seed, right? Do you think oh, they're going to lose in the first round? Hey, on God, if they play the, the Nuggets, I can see it happening. If they play the Suns, I can – the Suns, I don't, I don't know if it would happen because D-Book would have to go crazy. But the Nuggets for sure, the Jazz, possibly the Trailblazers, no. Uh, Mavericks, it depends on what you get out of Luka and uh, yeah. Porzingis and all that. Yeah. So that's the only way. If they do play the Nuggets in the first round, hey, it's tough. Anybody else they beat in the first round. The but Nuggets, you know what, though, I love – sure Facts. Hey, listen. I love Denver though. Denver's Denver's my team. I love Denver, bro. I love I love the way they play, bro. But at the same time as this, if you beat LeBron James out of nine, bro, he went to the finals nine game, nine years straight. Like to beat him, bro, that's gonna be huge. LeBron might retire. If you beat that man in the first round, bro, knock him down, bro. He that man might start thinking like I'm 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 done with basketball. You know, I, I definitely think he's in the league until his son gets like I, I for sure. Yeah, see that. I'm, I'm, with, I'm, with, I'm with Jay on that one too. Yeah, yeah. I I just I don't see you know. LeBron, when he was a little younger, man, he could manipulate the NBA more. And now a lot of these young players want to be him. Like Marcus Aldridge, if you remember, when every time somebody was a free agent, they went exactly where LeBron was. And now you see more and more people want to, they want to be him. There was a reason everybody was going to the Warriors or going to the Nets. Like they don't want to win with LeBron no more. They want to beat him. And that's different because mm-hmm. in his golden era, everybody wanted to be on his team. And now people, they smell blood because he's older. So I, all of it, the combination of it makes it so much harder to ever get another ring. Because I, I can't see nobody that wants him to win another one outside of his super fans. But I think everybody yeah. in the league now, I don't, I don't think nobody's scared to match up with him anymore. We like, know LeBron not, becomes out of court and everybody's like, oh, my God, that's Brian. Nobody no, shies away from no, guarding no. him or none of this. Because it's like it's one of those things, like, because you saw it with LaMelo. How it's, it's the same thing, like, when you had Kobe Cross and MJ. Like, how would I look if I was to back down for this man when I have this chance to go at him? Yeah. He's still, he's still it. As much as LeBron is older, he's still is still at, at he's still at at his prime. He's he's still there. Like to be thirty plus and you, your dog, you're out running nineteen and twenty year olds. You're out jumping. LeBron is something that we'll never see again. However, you got these people. They got all these young dudes. Like it's like I'm going against Sensei and I'm across Sensei. But it was the same thing where uh, you had a uh, what's dude, what's dude's name? Uh, Amon Shumpert when he went against Kobe. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm locking Kobe down. Towards the end of the day, game, Kobe's like, that was a good game. That was cool, but watch this. LeBron, if LeBron gets, sweep, gets swept in the first, I see LeBron pulling the Jordan. I see LeBron taking it very personal. Mm-hmm. And then you might get LeBron wanting a five and a six. 
then you you that, that's that's what I see. If LeBron was to ever get swept, swept in the first at this point, yeah, he's taking that personal, extremely personal. You're not gonna hear I, nothing from LeBron. Do, You're not do, gonna see it, nothing. Do, do I just LeBron. think the league is too deep in competition nowadays. That's I I think when LeBron was dogging in, in 11, 12, 13, the league wasn't as talented, you know. It no, was nowhere LeBron, near no. KD. And now and I just look, they're just yeah, that was it. I just think there's too much overall talent now and still coming up. That that Brian, the way LeBron used to kill the NBA, they, like that's over and done. You'll never be able okay. to be one player destroying the NBA ever again. Hold on, hold on, Jay. I think it's set up for LeBron James to have that Tom Brady effect on the NFL. Facts. Right? That, and, Facts. And, and everybody thinking, oh, LeBron's getting old. He's gonna get everybody want to play against him, just like Tom, like Tom Brady. I was like, I was one of them. I was like, oh, Tom Brady ain't gonna do this, and what he do. You can't bet against exactly. them. You can't bet. You can't bet against them. Generation talent. You know what I mean. You got the, the generation talent. You can't bet against. Them. Is, only reason I bet against them is because as much as LeBron has been a dominating factor, if anybody's been paying attention, Steph Curry has been the one that's been changing the NBA. So yeah, that's LeBron right. does his thing, but everybody every year you get a new kid who can shoot deeper and deeper and deeper, and that's where it don't matter. When every like right now, it's a few players pulling from the logo, but when you got yeah. forty players in the league pulling from the logo, then then what? You see what I'm saying? You can't. You Brian is doesn't matter at that point. It's yeah. what do you do? And that's how I look at it. Is you you? It's not going backwards. That's the like, style is done. But I feel like Brian James is a Superman of the NBA, man. I feel like LeBron <laughs> James. He's still the measuring stick of the NBA, bro. Because like I said, like even though it's competition, for another four or five years, and then it, then it's all Steph Curry. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, it's a fact. But the thing with LeBron James, it's like right now. LeBron James is in a good position right now because right now it's stacked up against him in the West, bro. So, so, so think mm -hmm. so think about this. He beats them in the West, bro. He runs through them, bro. Tough game, seven games here. It doesn't matter. If he win and go to the ship again, bro, he's already elevated, bro. He's going even higher, bro. They ain't going against Brooklyn. They ain't going against Kyrie, bro, right? Now, everybody got their, everybody got their picks on that game. I get that. But if you do that and you beat Kyrie, bro, beat him, bro, Kyrie going to retire. Yeah. With that, he going to retire because, 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 no why? because now you face the guy that everybody's saying that helps you that, that without him. <laughs> You don't get no shit. So yeah. hypothetically, though, if the Lakers, if the Lakers play the Nets matchups, what where advantages do you see in the Lakers outside of they got LeBron? Where where the advantage they have? They ain't got an no. answer point. No. Two, pop, small it's forward. all LB though, bro. I mean, they got the AD, they got AD. Okay, so I give you, I'll give you AD as an advantage right. over the power forward position. Okay, so six man, like where are you at? Like you what, know what happens? I'm saying this. LeBron what happens when you ISO James Harden and say, all right, Harden, go eat. And then you double him, you say, all right, Kyrie, go eat. And he say, all right, KD, go eat. Like, what happens? Because all you can say is, all right, Brian, take over. AD, right. take over. And, and he next? does. He Who creates. Who he else? creates, though. So LeBron, Le LeBron James going to hold Kyrie coming up coming up to court. I, I don't see it happening. I don't see LeBron holding Kyrie coming up to court. You know what I mean? The Lakers got one open roster spot. I really, if they if they pick up, let's say they can go grab J.R. Smith, they can go grab some type of veteran guard, Wait, and that'll help them. The, I think that, the Clippers getting Rondo. Don't they, the Clippers getting Rondo was going to kill the Lakers. Don't they, they got Andre Drummond too? So don't they got Andre? Bet, As a guard, though, that don't matter. You see what I'm saying? They need some type of guard to control that ball. Kyrie going to control the offense. We know the Clippers got Rondo. Mm -hmm. But you're telling me you're really about to rely on Dennis Schroeder, who ain't ever did nothing with the Hawks, to, to get you to the finals, or Alex right. Caruso. That's where that's where you can expose the Lakers that literally I'm, is guard play. I'm going to say this, I'm gonna say this and I got I to gotta get off here because I got to get back to you know. Yeah. But um, so the first thing, LeBron is the Tom Brady of the league. Right, or I'll say this: Tom Brady is the LeBron of football because I don't like Tom Brady, whatever. But LeBron, everywhere he goes, he it doesn't matter if you say take over, then that means that every bit of my power is going to at least enhance two more players. So now I got three out of five players going just as hard as me because they know better. They know that they need to because they're not going to want to let you have these young players that they don't want to let LeBron down. Now, when you had the Cavs, of course, you had some vets. And some people that like of the same caliber as Brian, like, man, I don't care about this. Like, if I play hard, I play hard. But if not, I, I don't. But like you have LeBron James who he's going, he went to a place to make it better. And now they're better. When he meets the Nets and you have people like, like, oh, well, you know, it's just LeBron take over. LeBron's gonna take over, but it's gonna enhance at least two other players to pick up the pace when it comes to Harden and um and KD. And then we go to if LeBron gonna guard KD, my thing is this. If I'm big bro on this team and I got a little bro who just went to go get more other people, why would I fight little bro? I'm just gonna have another little bro for my team go hold little bro. And I'm okay, going, so I'm going. 
So Wesley like, Matthews or Catavius Caldwell Pope or Alex Caruso or Dennis Schroeder, which one of them is going? Which two of them do you say match up with James Harden, Kyrie Irving? That's the problem. Bro, I see, I see what you're saying, bro. I see with, what you're saying. With, with, that, with, that, with, that, with that said, with that said, with that said, Drake, we gonna go ahead. You gonna let everybody go. So what? 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 After that, we go. Everyone, before I let everybody go, where everybody can find you at, um, Jay again. Oh man, so Instagram J underscore Ty twenty six. That's J A Y underscore T O D D two six. On Twitter, it's at uh, capital J A Y capital J then lowercase A Y capital T O D D two six. Uh, Snapchat because I do a lot of stuff on Snapchat too. Uh, J A Y underscore Ty twenty six T O D D two six. Make sure y'all get at me, man. Ty talks is more coming. Uh, I got more music on the way. Um, I, it's, we're literally cranking out stuff now. Um, I got skits coming. I have uh, merch coming as far as like my shirts and my brand. I'm doing a whole lot of building. So I really appreciate y'all having me on here, man. Bowtie Sports, man. Hey, y'all the truth. <laughs> All right. the truth. We want to thank everybody. Y'all the truth. I, got, wanna... I, I, I got to come back on here. I got to come back on here during football season, boy. Right. And what, what, yeah, what, 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 uh, what position you play before I, before I let you go for everybody can know? Oh, man, running back. That's the money position. Running back. I told you. Know. That. <laughs> the, money, the money position. Oh no, 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 sir. Nah, nah, nah. Mm-mm. So with Show this, time. with Please this, we're gonna thank Please we're gonna sir. we're gonna thank everybody for watching. You can, if you missed it, you can find us on YouTube at Bowtie Sports yes, LLCs. Uh, we want to thank Jay, Jay, uh, Jay for coming on, Johnny, everybody, uh, Jay, the analyst. We want to thank everybody. Have a good, uh, have a blessed weekend. We'll see you guys Monday at five thirty. Have a good one. You are watching Bowtie Sports. Bowtie Sports, yeah, Bowtie. We gon' catch it all from the court side. Got the lights, camera, action for the whole nine. You name it and we got it at the Bowtie. Bowtie Sports, yeah, Bowtie. We gon' catch it all from the court side. Got the lights, camera. For the whole nine, you name it and we got it at the bow tie. All of the sports, you can catch it at the bow tie. Commentary special with the bird's eye. You can watch it for your favorite, like a franchise. Come and get your info from the bow tie. Talk about the plays, it's a rewind. You know that we got it at the bow tie. Running through the specs, Nike Reebok. Touchdowns, three pointer, whichever you like. All you gotta do is watch, listen to the game plan. For the whole squad Special teams are the starters And even the main man Yeah, we do interviews at the bow tie Bow tie sports, yeah, bow tie We gon' catch it all from the court side Got the lights, camera, action for the whole nine You name it and we got it at the bow tie Bow tie sports, yeah, bow tie We gon' catch it all from the court side Got the lights, camera, action for the whole nine You name it and we got it at the bow tie